Hello everybody, it's Ralph here, uh, Tuesday evening uh, here in Ballanderi and uh, it's hard to believe it's uh, been a month uh, since I was sharing with you about the reading plan for April. Uh, and I'm wondering how you got on uh, reading through the, the book of Joshua and the book of Ruth. Uh, as I said, uh, challenge you to think about the big picture and, and also the small picture. Um, I wonder has your, your view of Joshua changed this month? Uh, through reading about him, uh, reading about the character of that man who, who was used by God, uh, in mighty ways, and and likewise with Ruth, I, w I wonder if you had that opportunity to to look at genealogies, look at uh, how Ruth fitted into God's big picture, uh, for the salvation of Israel. Um, well, I hope you were blessed by by those readings, uh, those two Old Testament books. Uh, now in the month of May, as we approach May, we're going to delve into the New Testament again. Uh, previously we've looked at, at the books of Luke, Luke's Gospel and, and also the book of Acts uh, and now we're going to go into the letters and uh, what letter we're going to start with. Uh, we're going to read together uh, the book of Romans and it's just a fantastic book. It's one of my favourites, um, just packed uh, with, with so much truth. It's a deep book and uh, it really takes work to, to, to go through the book of Romans uh, but it's so worthwhile um, and because it is a, a deep book because it's, it's much shorter than some of the readings we've done so far um, I'm going to offer uh, suggest three different ways in which you can tackle this book as a reading plan this month so option one uh, would be to read fairly quickly through the book of Romans uh, as a whole maybe over a, a few sittings uh, in the first few days of the month. Uh, but as you read through it, um, highlight uh, verses or, or, or shorter passages that, that jump out at you or speak to you in a particular way. Um, maybe you want to list those down on, on a separate page. And then you can take the rest of the month to think on those passages. Just pick out those, those bits that, 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 that bounced out at you and spoke to you. Uh, and then take uh, time over the month just to consider those individual passages, to look at them in more depth, to, to pray over them, to meditate over them, and to, to ask the Lord to speak to you through them. So that's option one. Um, option two is to read it as a whole book, right through, just as quickly as is comfortable, maybe over the course of a week, and then read it again, and even read it a third time. Just take time over the month to read through Romans a number of times, um, so often we study uh, the epistles, the, the letters, um, because we're looking for, for the theology, for the teaching out of it. And uh, what a wonderful opportunity this month maybe to, to just read it and to feel that, to see that flow uh, of how the, the book fits together as a whole. That whole story of salvation. Man is lost, but God steps in by his grace. So that's option two. And then finally, the, the third option would be to use the little plan uh, that's hopefully attached to this email. Um, and that just splits it into 20 readings. So you would have uh, 20 short readings, either one chapter or half a chapter, depending on the day. Uh, and then you could read that Monday to Friday uh, for the four weeks in May. Um, and yeah, you can, it's just a, sh a shorter passage each day. So you can read it, meditate on it. And again, pray over it and ask the Lord to speak to you through it. So there's three options. Read it through quickly, pick out passages to meditate on, uh, to read it a number of times, or finally to, to read it in individual bits uh, as per the plan and uh, uh, do it that way. Romans is a, is a wonderful book and, and there's a real opportunity to be blessed by the Lord uh, as he speaks to us through his word. And... Um, it's such a wonderful mix of, of really deep theology and deep teaching uh, mixed with just opportunities where Paul gets excited about God and it, it just spills over. Uh, and in just in closing, I want to, to share with you one passage which, which I love particularly. Um, it's in chapter 11 of, of the book of Romans. Uh, in the first 10 chapters, he has been working through some really, really heavy, deep stuff uh, which is which is hard work, but it's it's worth persevering with, uh, truth, um, and then in, at the end of chapter eleven, Paul just breaks forth. He just gets excited and he just gets lost and uh, uh, and takes a step back. And there's this doxology, 
uh, of, of a God. And I just want to read it to you. Chapter 11 and verse 33 of Romans. Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counsellor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. I hope you're blessed as you read the book of Romans.